Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof to the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the <laughs> we got a lively bunch here. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you for letting me sing. That was a joy. I'm a practitioner and on the staff, so just, well, just happy, uh, happy September to everybody. We had September 11th a month ago, and uh, it was a big trial for the nation, but a lot of people came together, and uh, I just want to say, Let's let's all rejoice and celebrate and celebrate our unity and be good neighbors to one another, love one another. Hey, so do you want to leave us with a treatment in regards to 9/11? Um, sure, I'd love to. I would love for you to. Too. All right, Lee, we come together in consciousness, <clears throat> knowing God is with us here and now, always has been and always will be. And we know that we're one with God. We're walking, living, moving, having our being in God right now. There's no place else to go for God is omnipresent. And so I just want to know the truth of our unity right now. The truth of uh, that bond that really holds us together at a very deep level. That we may look very different on the outside. The Spirit does see the heart. And scripture says that he hath made of one blood all the nations of the earth. So we are united and with the purpose of peace in our individual relationships and across the nation and the whole world. Let peace and love and joy reign supreme in our hearts and minds day by day. And we know it's, it's just the little things a little touch on the shoulder, a friendly smile, a hello. Those things can really build up our awareness of the presence of God with us always. We do give thanks and know that it is so because it really is so. Beautiful. And why don't you leave your name and number in case somebody wants to contact you for practitioner work? Oh, sure. Uh, my name is Ken Gray. And you can reach me at area code 562-868-8616. Look forward to hearing from you. I love this woman. <laughs> first time in my life, in 57 years, I know what love is. And it's so good. It's so good. It'll be my first and last wedding. And I'm looking forward to it. Really, my heart, my heart jumps when I think of Mary. She's the apple of my eye. And I've waited this long for a woman like her to come along. So I thank you for an opportunity to speak and say, the, speak, say my, my piece about the lady I love. Thank you. Oh. Just to be close. Marcus for a good life, a loving life, for showing me how to love and to accept love and to be loved. And sometimes it's hard for people to acknowledge these things, but you know, when the right person comes along, it always happens. So I'm happy 
I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my life with him. And each day gets better and better. And who would have thought me at 50, 50 plus <laughs> getting married, looking forward to it, and just rejoicing in every oh, moment. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Happy day. When Jesus washed. When Jesus washed. Oh, when he washed. When Jesus washed. When Jesus washed. When Jesus washed. He washed my sins away. Oh, happy day. Oh, it's a happy day. Oh, happy day. He taught me. He taught me how. He taught me how. Yes, he did. To watch, watch and pray, oh Lord, my Lord, watch and pray, and live rejoicing, and live rejoicing, every, every, every day, oh Lord, my Lord, every day, oh happy day, Day. Keep going. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Here we go. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Uh, when I get to heaven. Happy day. Said I'm going to jump and shout now. Oh, happy day. Well, I'm talking about a happy day, my Lord. What a happy hour. Oh, happy day. I said, uh, when I see my Jesus, oh, happy day. when Jesus washed, oh, when he washed, when Jesus washed, he washed my sins away. Oh, what a happy day. day. Oh, good day. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The, I am Mervyn Richardson from Inglewood Spiritual Center for Creative Living, and we are here at Ed Vinson's, formerly Sentinella Park, in the city of Inglewood. Eddie, Eddie oh, I have a, a whole set of family here with us, blood family, church family. He, this is Michael. Michael, face the camera from it. Michael Richardson. That's my grandson. Yeah, he's a beautiful girl, yeah. He's, 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 from those, he's from good stuff. This is my son, Gerard Richardson. That's Michael's dad. And that's Patty, my grand, my daughter-in-law. <laughs> and, and over here. Hi, Patty. Hi, Patty, 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 And I'm the newest member of the family, Chelsea Riola Richardson. She's. She's on a bottle right now. She's the, she's the princess of all there is, and she's the only one, and will be the only one, Princess Chelsea. Say hello to Princess Chelsea, everybody. Hello. Anyhow, we are having a great time at Sentinel Park, and I know it's it's the temperature is just. My name is Michael Richardson from two. 18 dollars for the whole box and for individuals inside are one dollar. I have been in the church for over 20 years and I'm a practitioner here and we do counseling and we help people change their lives and I'm also in financial services and it's along the same line as a church. We believe in people and changing their lives. We give them education on what to do with their money and how to work with their money. And in times like right now, where people are losing money, we can actually help people make their money last. So I love what I do. 
and it's very aligned with this church here, we were actually changing our lives. So if you need any of these services, please let me know. And what is your phone number or a way to it's contact you? 310-938-0560. So what are you going to do when you first meet up with them? I actually just give them education on what how money works. Oh, good. And see what needs they have. And a lot of times it's counseling and you know showing them that there's a, a way to do it and a better way to make their money work. And also people are looking for part-time work. We can we need people that speak different languages because people need what we do, and we really need to. Uh, find people that really have um, strength of character, they care about people, and they want to make a difference. So it's not sales, it really is trying to help people. My name is Tina Lee, and I'm a practitioner. I've been with Inglewood Center for Spiritual Living, oh my goodness, 15, 16, 17 years maybe now. Um, however, I was reared in uh, religious science, so uh, I guess I found my home about 15 years ago. And I'm trying to enjoy my uh, It's a beautiful game, and I am so grateful for everyone. Everyone. I'm so grateful to be a part of such a wonderful world. Try to remember the kind of September when life was slow and oh so mellow. Try to remember the kind of September when grass was green and grain was yellow. Try to remember the kind of September when you were a tender and callow fellow. Try to remember, and if you remember, then follow. Try to remember when life was so tender that no one wept except the willow. Try to remember when life was so tender that dreams were kept beside your pillow. Try to remember when life was so tender that love was an ember about to billow. Try to remember, and if you remember, then follow. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I know. Oh, Nettie Fluger? Okay, fellow church members, may I have your attention, please? I'm now going to. I'm now going to introduce to you to the microphone our one and only practitioner of the Inglewood Center for, Sp for Spiritual Living. Please help me welcome Nettie Bluger. Hey. What, what, what are you welcome? Hello. And what you are hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Please help me welcome Jay. I don't, I don't, I don't do my, I'm sorry, I don't do my.
James, and this my mother is the oldest. My mother is the oldest, the oldest member of the church right now. Sims who be standing here doing this at this time and hopefully that everybody's having fun I know I always do and I get a chance to talk to people that I haven't talked to for a while and plus I've been introduced to this nice looking young lady here which her name is uh, Nicole <laughs> it's a pleasure to be a part of her uh, production right now and I give thanks for it and at this time, I said, we'll see you next time, and have a good evening. Thank you. May I have your attention, please, ladies and gentlemen. The Men's Club of Inglewood Science Church of Spiritual Living will be holding a domestic peace conference on October the 22nd, 2011 from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Registration at 10 p.m. to 10.30 a.m., sorry. And we'll be discussing how to make life better for individuals. Expand your awareness of the need in your local community. Connect with your resources for making domestic peace a reality. Discover new ideas and concepts to empower your lifestyle. Inspiration and strength to make peace at home your top priority. I urge you to come out because we have some wonderful speakers and probably you can also get the full conference on DVD. And please, mark your calendars for October 22nd 2011 at the Inglewood Center for Spiritual Living. Hi everybody. I, I know you've heard about the Grieving Widows Auxiliary, our two-act comedy that's going to take place at the Inglewood Center for Spiritual Living opening Friday, September 30th and running through Sunday, October 2nd. This is a terrific comedy about several ladies all over age 60 who form a support group. Now, that you have to be a widow to belong to this support group. And oh, no, it's cold. They, they form the support group for the primary purpose of securing their next husbands. Their madcap antics to hook the bait will have you laughing hysterically. I really advise that you buy tickets for opening night, September 30th, Tickets to $35 because there will be a reception with the cast following the performance. You want to mingle with the cast and learn the backstories of the characters and talk with the various cast members about their own experiences and their own artistic and theatrical backgrounds. 
October 1st and October 2nd. The play starts at 4 o'clock. Tickets for $23 each. Bring, take your friends. They will love it, regardless of your age. But we do suggest ages 14 and over. It is a well-written play. You will love it, even if you've seen it before. Get tickets from the center. That number is 310-674-9160. Or you can call me at 310-412-4027. Get your tickets now. Don't wait till opening night and have a rush on the crowd. Say is hello to everyone. It's been a marvelous event, and I'm going home. As you know, I get up at 2 a.m., so I'm on my way home. Bye. <laughs>